What's up, my people? I go by the name of Mac. It's that old, just a takeover. Just a takeover. Man, you, be, you gotta sound like that, man. Like, you, like what? <laughs> like you, Wait, man, man. Last time, now, now they had hiking. people coming. Yeah, <laughs> hiking, man. Then they had people talking about, man, your man need to take a value and calm down yeah, and man, stuff. Man, you about them. Well, okay. Man, Wait, it's go the takeover, man. And, um, you know, shout out to everybody that's tuned in, um, listening to us right now. If you're new, um, welcome to the family. And um, the Takeover Podcast, man, look us up. You could subscribe to us on um, the podcast link on Apple, you know, Google Play, Spotify, the whole nine yards, man. Subscribe, you know, give us a review, you know what I'm saying? You know, let us know what you think about the show. And um, definitely um, subscribe to our YouTube page, our YouTube channel, The Takeover, because we're definitely um, making some some bigger moves, man. We got we got visual now, man, and, um, you know, we're we taking it up a notch, man, so... Shout out the money. Yeah, you dig. But um, but yeah, man. So, you know, one thing about the takeover, we always like to, you know, salute our our people that came before us. You know what I'm saying? And and, and this is like something that me and Thetto take pride in. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, we always talk about New Orleans culture, New Orleans history. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to rap, but nobody wants to know the history of it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so this is why me and Thetto do what we do on the takeover. And um and I you know without further ado man we got the man himself Lil Elton in the building man how you doing? Well, what's up baby? Talking to the mic with dog. What's happening man? <laughs> it's all good. We can get the gap man. <laughs> <laughs> Who we here? It is. What's yeah. Up, yeah. Man. man. We here. So um just to, you know just to take it back I mean we all know you know LSU you know what I'm saying the um yeah. sub two Sean man you know they brought back get the gap. And um, how you know how 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 did that feel for you, knowing that you made that twenty plus years ago, man, and you know, and it to come back to life in a whole another decade? It's wild, man. It's like a dream come true. Which what, what you call it? I mean, I mean, <clears throat> I always was like under the radar. At the same time, I never stopped doing my music. So for to get the gap to come back like that. I mean, I'm still shocked, though. I'm still yeah. riding this, the wave. Think about you know it. Get saying? the Gap was getting played in the White House, dog. Like I said, I'm <laughs> barely, I really ain't stopped making my moves yet, and I'm barely getting sleep, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm still on the high, this, man. Yeah. This, that's dope. This 27 years. Mm -hmm. That's a long neck. No, I remember. Like, but that, see, that, that's just, like, it goes back to what I've been saying long. To, so I'm cool with the new bounce, you know, whatever. But it's nothing like that original sound, you know what I'm saying? And that song blew up, not because, you know, like, you know, it, because of the sound and, you know, and what L did to it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but it, it's that, it's that, that's New Orleans right there. That's where we come from, you know what I'm saying? So when you always take it back to the, the original, yeah. you can't do nothing, but it, it, was, it was bound to blow up. Like, I, I was bumping it. Via YouTube, like whenever I get in my little New Orleans moments, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm looking up that pimp daddy, like you know what I'm saying? All our, you know, um, the music we used to listen to back in the G, and I'm like, man, like you know, and when people talk about bounce now, since you know the since it didn't hit worldwide now, you know, they know that bounce, you know what I'm saying? Now we got to introduce them to our original yeah. bounce, you know and what that's I'm saying? That's the bounce I always tell y'all, fuck right. With. Yeah, and that's. Do you remember the day you sat down? Y'all made that. Like, do you? Act, you can remember because I can remember that for that shit like yesterday, man. Like, would you? Like, would you like? You was just telling your man get the gas, and somebody was like, "Dog, you know what? Say that again." No, I came up with it when we was actually about to make something, and instead of me hollering where they at, right? Because that's how the song was about to be. You see, now, nah, man, we gotta switch it up. We gotta say something else. Yeah. 
That came to mind. And, 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 and you know, back you know then, that's when we was really getting the gap, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit was real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What year was it, 92? Yeah. And that's, and that's when, like, like that's when the murder capital, 300, 300 was dying, like, whoa. whoa. I was 10 years old. You were? You were? 10 years old. Oh, oh, I was in high. Damn, I'm that old. I ain't gonna say that. Damn. And it's crazy because, oh. like, you know, even like, you know, at 10 years old, I really wasn't paying attention to the lyrics of the thing. You know what I'm saying? You was just vibing to what everybody else was vibing to. You know what I'm saying? It was the beat. You know what I'm saying? And of course, get the gat. You know what I'm saying? But like, you didn't really pay attention. You know, as a youngster, you, you, know, you don't really dissect those lyrics like that. You know what I'm saying? But the crazy thing, you know, um, when Biggie said, get the gat, I always thought about him. In that music, because you know Biggie say on, oh, I forgot what song he said, "Get the Gat." Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was like, I gotta be, because only people who used to say "Get the Gat" is was people from New Orleans. I mean, let's and say I, and, Biggie got get Biggie, the from, uh, from New Orleans. You know? <laughs> yeah, from there. <laughs> we just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. Hell, he, how, he, what Mia told us. Yeah, Biggie was tuned in. Biggie was bumping Mia X. Um, the big, the payback mm-hmm. back then. So you think about all that, you know, and. He was a, he was a big, big music dude. dude. Mm-hmm. So who not saying, he always say I'm going down south, you know, you know who not saying that he didn't, whoever passed him that Mia X tape didn't pass him his tape, like, you know, or just he heard. heard. Yeah, and it's just, it's something sticking in your head, you in there, mom, like, okay, I tell my man, get the gap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, that's it. And man, just to bring it, just to bring it back some, man, like, um, who is Lael? Like, you know what I'm saying? For the people that don't know, like they like right now, everybody just on a high of the song right now. But like who is Lael? Like, you know, what, what part of the city were you um you from? Like, you know. I've been uptown all my life, man. I mean, get the gat down the street from Big Man Lounge, mm-hmm. right down Louisiana Avenue, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, Lael just missed to get the gat. Right. Were you part of and, the Go ahead, I'm sorry. I mean, and, 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 and what's the killing part about it? When the tape was so hot, we didn't have no cover on it. Mm. So they never knew the face of who made the song, and it was just blowing up in Louisiana. Mm-hmm. And like I told them, I mean, I hit Houston, but it never reached its full potential. Like now, this is what I wanted to do, go nation. Right. And look how it come back 27 years later, and man, like I always say, I mean, the dude Sean Sub tweet, he really didn't know what he was playing with. Right. It was actually a live grenade right. he was messing with. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, he started, like he said, he picked through songs. And then they just landed on Get the Gag because they say what I was saying. I think he just went with the, I guess, the football. Album. Right. Who, um, was well, who, um, who, who, who produced that record? Well, everything you know, it was written by me, and it was produced by um, DJ T and MC Dart. Okay, I did hear a- MC Dart. Who's who's the guy before you said MC Dart? DJ T. DJ T. Fifty okay. Grand right now. Mm-hmm. We said Fifty Grand. Grand. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. I think that's what I know. So, were were you in a um, so you were in a group of the um eighty nine. Three nine posse. Three nine posse. Nah, we was actually our own group. Lay out with DJ T. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, but just from them putting that on, get the gat on one side and ask them holes on the other side. Right. When I used to be out there, some people thought I was 3 9. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which, oh, they, I think 3 9 made the get the gat song. You know, the L made the song. It was just that they, it was on the wax like that. Okay. Man, that, man, like I said, I remember, um, I remember as a kid, um, how you know how impactful that song was. You know what I'm saying? And and like, like I said, it's no surprise to me that this song did what it's doing now. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what it did for me. But like he said, you know what's the good thing? Like he said, the song doing what he thought would have done back then. But he still, you hear to see the flowers, and now it's always it says better late than never. And they don't know the story. I mean, we stopped get the gap. It shut it down when it was in demand. Oh. It's like G Nikes right now in demand, and they just say just stop selling them. Mm-hmm. But who? Wait, the label? It, what well, who it? tried to shut we, it down? We, it was the label. I mean, it was oh, okay. Parkway pumping records mm-hmm. with me or whatever. But I'm one number sixteen years old. 
So, but why? 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 It was a lot of bumping heads, which I'm glad it got shut down because "Get the Gap" was the only song that started bringing the money into the label. Right. And that money was coming quick because the reason, the actual reason I dropped the song is because. The first get together we made, we made it on Trigger Man back to back. Okay. That was the, the go to beat back then. Exactly. So we want to put it out. We got to make a beat. We got to do a beat. Mm-hmm. And the reason we need to put it out now, every club in the city, every DJ is selling my damn song right down the club. Somebody woke up and said, I won't get the get. All right. We're going to record it on a cassette and sell it for $10. Mm-hmm. So that was going on around the city. Damn. It was all it was that heated up on the streets. I mean, it knocked on our door too. We were selling cassettes for ten dollars. But once we heard everybody in the city selling the DJs, we gotta uh, we gotta put the song out. Right. And that's what led to us going to drop it and putting it out there. And I mean, I ain't think it was gonna do what it did, but goddamn. Right. <laughs> That's like it was smoking, and, and I went all over Louisiana with it. Now, you know, like back then, a rap like that's when it was hot. Like the bounce called it was this super hot. Yeah. Like the the school dances was just off the chain. Like man, this picture clock. You got Manny Fresh DJ in the dance. Mm-hmm. And all this and need and this, you know this was the time. Right. And now, damn. Today's time they'll shut that shit down. You couldn't have you know, what you had at 35 explosions and shit like that. Like in today's dances and shit like that. Like they shutting that shit all the way down. Then man, you know a lot of them songs you listen to, like Get the Gat and the um Partners in Crime songs, all them songs is crazy because you know, them songs was like rowdy, like something gonna go down when you play them. Something, something jumping off. I mean, we used to do DJing before this, like, this rap thing started. We used to DJ a lot of parties and dances, and some dances, they let you know, do not play Get the Gat. Right. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. And maybe another one they might um, name, but you couldn't even play the damn song. Right. Because they're going to jump off. And you know, that goes back to what we were talking about earlier, like, freedom of speech. You know, like, if you look at that hip-hop revolution thing, um, when Luke, you know, because Luke played a big part. Think about them trying to sensitize everybody and censor us. And um, they really were censoring you, like telling you you can't play it. That's, that's that's freedom of speech. You know, that's really freedom of speech. You taking, first of all, you're taking food out of my mouth mm-hmm. because I'm making money off of this. I don't know. Maybe you should have been. So I've been slinging them at the dance. Then look, they don't want us. Man, we gonna we gonna do this. Play it when you get your mama call. They were banning it at like high school dance or just like high certain, school dances. Yeah, I, I mean, you I could I could probably see kids. why because yeah, of the yeah, kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why they banned but, it? But that wasn't. It's not. I think the song was it get the gap. It was more of a dance song. Exactly. You know, but we talking about early nineties. Like we yeah, you had the little dance with it. Round, but we gonna keep it a buck. Like back in the G, you was getting stole off anything like that. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you had any problems with anybody across the hall. Oh, yeah. Those type of songs, like automatically, that was like a automatically, like you know, whip on something right quick. Now back then, did did they have any people? You know, like, you know, like how they remix everything nowadays. Did they have anybody come like, man, let's redo that uh, Get the Gas song? Not Nobody. Then, but I heard that from the through the grapevine from Three Nine Manager that um, Luke wanted to um, holler at me at one time, but they didn't tell me. Oh, you know, I heard a similar story like this before, <laughs> and I'm laughing because. Oh, all right. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> that's what I do here, bro. That do like beef. <laughs> you gonna get the gap in your motherfucking ass in a minute. <laughs> I was bad. Oh, I wanted to say, okay. Yeah, but I heard that. I saw the situation. Somebody muffled, like, think about, they, they stopped your blood. Just think about hooked up with Luke on that. I know. Yeah. Shit. Shit could be. Right. It changed your life, your family life. Generation. You know, because that song, think about this. That song could do, I'm not comparing it to Old Town Road, but I'm saying 
that song could how that one song blew for him and he put out more music that could have played a part in you you know Luke Major exposed you to something then you putting out full bodies of work and constantly exactly. in yeah, here. Yeah. And to this day, you could just be performing yep. like that type on the legend. legend tour and stuff. Let me ask you this. How, um, coming up, as, as you could, um, you know, as much as you could remember, how was the how was the rap game back then coming up in the 90s? Well, actually, I probably can count the shows I've done here in New Orleans on one hand. Mm -hmm. I've done... <clears throat> 90% of my shows on the road. Why is that? The only big show I've done down here was in that um, the auditorium with Warren Mays through. And that, and that concert was like, um, them actually finally finding out who made this song. And I'm right here in the city and he still didn't know. So that was, basically that was the label. Doing that to you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I told you, I'm I'm number sixteen years old, so I'm You're not knowing the business. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not knowing it, but <clears throat> but that concert Warren Mays gave, may he rest in peace, man, that was a that was man. The that was the one. <laughs> yeah. When everybody I mean exactly in New Orleans when they finally met who may get the gap. Mm -hmm. I mean, they went, they was off the walls. And I, I left off that stage with security guards giving me dap, talking about, man, you had them on the hands up, up there. Well, that's when it was, that was when it was truly, it was popping, boy. <laughs> them Daisy Dukes, yeah. ooh, man, was up that man, ass. Man, they wanted to twerk, it pussy popping. Oh, they was, they was doing the, the they was popping. Yeah. yeah, that twerk stuff, no, they was popping. What, yeah, yeah. What, what other artists was it like out around, like, we talking 92, so what, what other artists that was out at the time? Because I know, like, UNLVs and all them came like 94, 95? Yeah, see, they come after that because, right. I mean, it was. That's when Club sister. Adidas was open all that, huh? What'd you say? Sister, sister. Mm -hmm. Remember yeah, her? Yeah, I remember her, yep. What it was, her name was Silky Slim. And, um. Because her song was kind of like a, a, not like a retaliation to like the dudes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Someone yeah, like yeah. Yeah, ex did like the exactly. shit. Yeah. But that, but that <clears throat> Miss T was out back then, huh? That was that was. No, later. she was. Um, she was. She was. was she later. I don't know why. I keep thinking she was. She was after she was... Pimp Dad. Pimp Dad was before her. Damn. Huh? Who else was on? Uh, told you I can't remember. Cause at one time, I mean, Baby had me to um, he done a tour where I like I headlined all the shows to everything <clears throat> to everything. I mean, died off or fell off, but. That's when he was promoting PMW and um, yeah. man, who Kilo else was that? Kilo, he started. I remember he was on the tour. Yeah, and, man, you got um, a hell of a fine memory. Damn, man, believe it or not, when hurricane time, he was running for the storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going out the areas, I was catching deja vu everywhere. I said, man, I've been at this motel. I'm telling you, I feel it. Right, right. <laughs> I thought you were going to say when you were running for Katrina, you told somebody to get the <laughs> gas, man. We got to go. <laughs> but man, I mean, I went all over and I probably done, could have probably done three shows in New Orleans. So I'm actually this, like, what, what, you know, what, what stopped you from, you know, keep on recording and, you know, just pursue your dreams and stuff? No, actually, I never stopped. I mean, I got work that's already online. Well, I get done a project like in '93 on Inner House Records. Well, KLC produced a couple of them on there. That's the Blue Label um, CD I have. I done another record on Six Figure Entertainment in '98. Um, and these these albums, I'm talking about like. 12 cuts on, well, I know the um, the Street Soldier album. That's the one I've done with Six Figure Entertainment. But I had moved away from making like bounce records. I was doing gangster shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, Time I, was coming, I was coming with bangers. It's just that it never spent no money on promotion. So these, mm -hmm. these songs are still out, they're out now. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, when they, when they, yeah, yeah. I mean, when it was, shit, it was, they, they selling the shit on, on Apple and 
And uh, whatever online, um, who selling? I just saw, saw the Blue Lib song on Apple, the In the House um, Records. Yeah, it's the name of that. That's that, that's um, Uptown. I, that's like a probably a Maxi single. I probably got seven to eight cuts on there. Do you, Do you get? I don't, I don't, I don't want to get in your business. None of that. None of that for as people work type shit. None of that was done <clears throat> right. when dealing with these people. And I never was signing with no knuckleheads or nothing. So right. um, that wasn't going to happen. But as far as that, I mean, they never done anything to even promote the record. Right. So that's that's why y'all asked me here, what have I been doing? And right. I've been working under the radar. And I got other shit after the 1998 shit. I've done the Underground Hits record with 10 bangers on there. And I got more bangers. I done what? The later, the last time I really dropped some shit was in '15, and that's the last time. I mean, I've been in like the studio running shit. Are you are you tapped in with like um some of the producers from back in the G? Like that's in, still in New Orleans. Like are you still tapped in with them, trying to get you know songs from them to you know? Nah, I've never really. Fuck with new um, producers in New Orleans, other than the people I came up with. Yeah, far as my nigga out, DJ T, right? yeah, and I mean, far as, and that's it. He was three okay. nine posse, so, and um, he done a couple of cuts for me, but after that, that was a, that was like, you know how people get. I mean, hey, <laughs> right. you know Vernell from uh, Martin Gay. <laughs> 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 that's, that's real shit, boy. Right. I would have been, me, truly, I'd have been knocking on somebody dope, man. Listen, just get the gas song, it's hot. Some, y'all, 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 y'all spoon feed But the trip part, I gave a couple of, I mean, some of the projects, I gave them a chance to fuck with it. Right. You know, letting them know where I am, told them, we stopped this record. They mm -hmm. want this shit. In 1998, when I went to the distributor in Gonzalez to bring the Street Soldier album, when he knew, found out who I was, that man asked me, do I have any Get The Gats right now? And that's in 98. And we left it in demand in 93, we, that was it. If you call for it, we don't have no. You call, they can't get it. Mm. Now, can you, do, you, do you have any rights to, like, to do it, say you want to put it out now? You put it out. Like, no, I'm, but. It's out. It's out. <laughs> but I, I was looking for it. Yeah. I shut all that shit down. Oh. That wasn't me. Let me tell you something. Like last week, last week I was about to put because of the hip hop evolution. Which before that I was already because I put out playlists. So before before the hip hop, I even started hip hop evolution. I was um, I was finding all these old records. So I was gonna put it out, and it's crazy when I saw your tweet because. Before I saw your tweet, I was like, because these songs, like the Get the Gat, even T.T. Tucker, you know, it wasn't there. Like, I knew it wasn't coming from the original. It wasn't coming from them. Like, it was like a DJ tape or some shit like that that put the songs on what you call. And I was like, the last thing I need I is, is OG's that. like little L and T.T. Tucker coming at me. <laughs> Why the fuck you got my song on? You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, and knowing. Which you know really wasn't me, but I'm just saying. Or I didn't. I didn't, I was like, man, I'm not about to do that because you know what I'm saying. Like, it, and and I'm not gonna mention that, but it's a lot of like back in the G. Like, you know what I'm saying. That like, they've that, been throwing my shit on. Yeah. My shit done been on YouTube. When you hit up Lel, I've been seeing this shit. And who the hell is this? Who put this up? And they call themselves putting it on mixtapes, but. They know what's selling that motherfucker. Once they find out, get the gat on there. Yeah. Cause they can't get it nowhere. See, that's the demand about it. That's why they want it so bad. They can't go to the store and get it. They couldn't. So whoever this DJ is, he getting all the money. Mm -hmm. He getting all the, the um the audio, all that. And that's the thing about the, the streamers shit now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause back in the G, it had to go through, you know, certain chains of command before it even got released. You know what I'm saying? Paperwork being signed. You know, like you know, vinyls, cassettes shit. getting shipped and shit like that. Now, you know, a computer, you could do anything behind a computer. You know what I'm saying? Let me. I wanted to ask you this: like the um, the one you uploaded, is that the original? Is that the original version? Yeah, it's the original version. What you? I mean, there's something you always had. You always. Oh had yeah, that. yeah. We always kept our work. 
I mean, that wasn't going nowhere. I mean, even, and just man, my my nigga, when I tell you DJT, we kept that work, that get the guy. Because mm-hmm. we actually, like, you know, the originated, like I told you, it was made from the Trigger Man. Right. So it was me and him, when he DJ, could I get on the mic and do the damn thing. But actually, when we needed the beat, MC Dark had the drum machine, mm-hmm. so he came, sat on the floor, and made to get the gap beat, DJ T on the turntables, and I'm right down the motherfucking Booker T old mic, or whatever it was, where he got it from, from the <laughs> and sat down, and we dropped that shit. Right. And that shit, man, when he found out we had it, he was knocking on the door for, like, for crack. I'm pretty sure, like, when he used to have all the DJs, you know, in the projects or just in the neighborhood, period. Like, I'm pretty sure he used to, uh, every time they saw you, used to be like, you know, come get on the mic and stuff like that. Man, I always, I'm not going to even sit yet. I always was the low key type. What? Believe it or not. Like I told you, I only done three shows. I mean, if I was booked for it, I would have done it. Right. I didn't have no manager behind me mm-hmm. at the time that, you know what I'm saying, would have fulfilled that. But I always been the low key type. But when it's time to get down, I'm going to get down. Right. And I get the gas something else. <laughs> so, um, so, so you know, with the success of Get the Gap, like you know, what's what's in your plans now? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you gonna bring back those old albums that people slept on, or are you gonna upload them to streaming sites so yeah, people can yeah. kind of catch up? Oh yeah, to yeah. Your music? I got to. It's it's for some reason. I mean, it's it's hard to like. I know it's my music, but it's hard to let go when you know it's they bangers and mm-hmm. the, the people gotta hear this, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'd get that shit away free if I had to. You know what I'm saying? But they gotta hear that from me, you know. And I still come with club type songs at the same time. I mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't I I don't I ain't never gave that up. I have my gangster shit, but I got them club songs to make them shake that ass. Mm-hmm. I'm still gonna come with that. So, but um. I got see. How how is the um coming up like you know early nineties, coming up in the early nineties like you know listening to the like these new new kids now like you know what I'm saying do, you, <laughs> it, 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 is it heartbreaking to you or is it something that you, you, you know, know accept or? I get accepted in a bit. I mean I listen to what some I mean the shit I feel. It's right now I mean I can't listen to all that shit, but. Yeah. My son actually raps, and he's coming like that now. Mm-hmm. And this I gotta error. feel that shit. It's an error. This is error. <laughs> and mm-hmm. and that's how he coming with it. So I can deal with some of. It. I mean, I ain't I ain't hate. It's a, it's a new era. I gotta right. deal with that. Hey, but shit, for that new era to still jump on my shit that I done in '92, man, that's that that's big. Who um. Who are some of the artists that you are listening to? Shit. Out now. Well, they told me I listen to Future too much. So um, that's one of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, I listen to him because there's a lot of other cats he done done cuts with. So I get the feel on that. And I always go back to my old shit, that UGK shit, yeah. and WA shit, that, yeah. that Pac or whatever, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I always got to go back and feel because that shit is still limited. Um, I try to turn my kids on, let them know. At the same time, I be trying, like you say, teach them the history. Yeah. This where this shit started, mm-hmm. and then you 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 understand where it's at and all. But that's what I be peeping out. That's something. That's one thing that me and Thetto always preach here. You know, when we do bring younger artists, because um, you know, a lot of the kids they knew Cash Money, Lil Wayne, and stuff like that, and Soldier Slim, but they don't know it's like. So the Slim was a little kid, just like BG was a little kid looking up to guys like yourself that was rocking the Michael. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, you know, in the neighborhood. You know, like they- BG used to come by my, like I gotta tell you, my dog DJT and recording this in his uniform when he was just little doogie. Right. You know what I'm saying? When he got old cuts when he done when he was 15 years old or whatever. So just like that, and when. Soldier Slim when he was calling him ice cream uptown. That's what we called him. Ice cream? Through the hood, yeah. Well, you know, he was off the parkway, back and forth from the parkway to the Magnolia. So, oh, oh. man, like I say, he back and forth from the parkway to the Magnolia. So his name was, they used to call him ice cream? Ice cream, yeah. Wait, wait, 
Wait, wait, I missed this. Who was called ice cream? Soldier Slim. Soldier Slim. Was ice cream? Yeah. Damn, I can't. I ain't never heard nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah that's that's that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's a first. Well, you you ever heard it here? Yeah, you ever ask some motherfuckers who know them, who come up mm-hmm. through that park when out there know you there know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But um, like I see, they, they yeah they come right behind us with this shit, and when we may get the gag. We just drop that shit different. That's why it's so unique and yeah. That motherfucker different, but I ain't never expected to do what it did. Mm-hmm. And it did, just was on a s- small aspect what it's doing now. It just was, I call it, I guess, local. Right. But God damn what it's doing now, <laughs> man. I'm saying like, because I, 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 I've heard stories that like, um, that baby at one point was like, he was trying to like, him and Slim was trying to like sign like, a bunch of local acts that was in the city, you know what I'm saying? Like, you started Cash Money. Did, did he ever approach you? He never did approach me. I don't know. Probably, could. I mean, Baby knew my people personally, mm-hmm. like, far as my family. And um, he ain't never come at me. I don't know if it was. Well, let's say you don't know because he probably hound, hollered at the, look, old, look, look. The, the music people. <laughs> and he probably, and he probably like, was. Yeah, yeah, that's but what I'm like I said, if he knew my beat, still could have came at me, damn near personally. Mm-hmm. Right, right. But um, since he couldn't do that, I guess he said, "Shit, I'm gonna do a tour and let this little nigga lead the tour, and we'll get the shows like that, get the people to come out, and at the same time, he promoting his artist right. from PMW to um, oh boy, what his first rapper was Kilo G. Kilo G. Yeah. I mean, you got, and then, you know, you got to think about it too, man. Sixteen years old, like coming out the gate, like you, you, that's like Nas dropping Elmatic, like you know what I'm saying, like you know when he was a, a kid, like he was like, where does he even coming from, like you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, I can say I, I don't remember exactly when it dropped. I just know that you know, it was getting played. You know what I'm saying? It was just getting played, and you know, I, I was even trying to remember like what other songs was even out at the time to like even, you know. I came too much from my yeah. dad and um, DJ Jimmy. Yeah. Tucker was out? I can remember them on the main ones. was like, and that was Jimmy, that Tucker, and then that damn Gat. I always tell people I wish I was, um, I wish I was born before my time. Like, I wish I was born earlier. Like, you know, because, like, it's cool to hear these moments. But ain't nothing like, you know, I just knew, like, just living in it. Like, I just knew it. Because, like, you know, every time I talk to, you know, people that came before us, you know, like yourself and KLC and Manny Fresh, and, you know, when they talk about these clubs and how I used to go in there and rock, it's like, we don't have that now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like social media is one of the reasons why we don't have that now. But I just felt like New Orleans was like a a real hip-hop, you know, rap, gangster rap, dope community where people was throwing shows. You could throw a show, like you say, they used to throw the gong shows. Like, you could throw a show like that, and the motherfucking line be packed all the way outside. You know, it was something for you to do, and it, and it gave MCs like yourself, like, somewhere to go and get some shit off your chest. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, the, you know, we just don't have that shit. You know what I'm what saying? That, uh, what that club was on Canal? Um, Charlie B's. We used to be in that mm. motherfucker with Pimp Daddy on there, rocking the fucking mic. They frying chicken wings and smoke is <laughs> motherfucker damn. When we leave out that night, we smelling like wings and smoke. Right. W- w- him w- dad in there uh, rocking that fucking mic, it's going down. Yeah. And we was just like we was just the DJs. You know what's crazy? Like wait, so you, wait, so you DJ? No, I'm I actually know, with, oh, the with the DJs. Yeah, DJ. yeah. Okay, okay. I, I this is a uh talking about Pim Daddy. You said Pim Daddy's name. Him being signed to Cash Money? I thought you were from Uptown, but I just I, a couple years ago I found out you were from the Nine Ward. Not a, like you know, I, you know, I never knew that. Yeah, he was from the Nine Ward. Oh, nut off of Maze and told us that. Oh, oh, you know what he did. Yeah, I, see, see, I, I thought you were from Uptown. You know, dealing with you know cash money, you know, just territorial shit. I just thought that you know mm-hmm. automatically assumed he was from um from Uptown. But that's what I'm saying. Like like like, like him like just like you saying. Man, Pimp Daddy was in there rocking it. Man, I wish right now I was a fucking fly on the wall right now to see that shit. Because you think about like, man, 
the same songs they put out. Yeah, I, I'm. I heard that it what that was last week. I, I rolled up on him playing that pimp daddy. You know what I'm saying? That's when the, that's the night my motherfucker heard him say, "Chung Lee smelled like yaki yeah. juice." Man, <laughs> that, shit, <laughs> that shit, man. That motherfucker was in there running that shit. And that's what. I, and that's another thing, man. Like I would. I was I was slang like you know what I'm saying back then like we was like they come really for we man we come up with words sometimes we don't even know what the fuck it mean you know what I'm saying it's just like a it's just shit down rocking yeah get the fucking guy man I actually got chased down by the radio guy to get that on the radio get the guy well. that happened well I wish I bet all this wish right now they could that get that happened in Whispers Parking Lot. Mm-hmm. You remember David D was the DJ. Your memory is unbelievable. And um, damn, I remember him coming to the damn truck of the car we was in and asked me, "Can you come up there tomorrow and please bring me a copy, a tape, anything?" The dat I recorded and put it on the reel in there. And we went down there to to the Tower Building on Canal Street. That's where um, Q93 mm-hmm. was. Man, DJs, y'all hear that shit? You, you, but you know, like, what, you know I what I'm remember? saying? Like, like DJs, like, let's just take a moment to understand, like, DJs, do y'all hear what he just said? Like, a song was so hot in the city, when he saw the artist, he went to him and wanted the fucking record so he could motherfucking play it. And that's, the, and that's another part that is missed nowadays, you know what I'm saying? We don't really have, you know, I'm not blaming it on the deal, but at the same time, like, we, I felt like the blueprint was laid out for us. And it's like people go away from that shit. Like, man, DJs was breaking records. Like, DJs was more important than the MCs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You are right. So it's like, man, like, why the fuck we ain't breaking records no more? That's why the MCs today, the guys, they feel like they're not getting no love, especially in the city. They feel like they ain't getting no love. The cats that's coming up and trying to get in the game, they feel they got to leave this fucking city to come up. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't even be that way. So we tell, man, we preach about that shit. All, Cause like we say all the time, like New Orleans, ever since the No Limit Cash Money days, it's like we got a fucking dark cloud over New Orleans that just that's just hanging over us. Like it's like it's like we we not gonna see a day of light no more. They turned it into a money thing now. Yeah. We can make money off these MCs, that's what they do now. Yeah. Like when you say a motherfucking MC and go in there and rock it, I mean, especially if his shit was hot and that DJ gonna play it. Man, when, you had a hit if you was on getting played in the under in the, at the underground. Remember the spot right there on. You talking about WID at the basement? Yeah, yeah in the basement, boy. I just would tell him, motherfucking man. I used to think I was tall. I could, it was literally a basement. You could look. I just told him that's, the, that's my show. That you know, I told her that. She just asked me at the show. I had about the, the Bacardi um during the champ um championship weekend, but um. She called me to the side. She said, you remember being in the underground? Hot. I said, what do I? It was hot as hell yes, in there. And you can touch the ceiling. I said, man, that motherfucker's a true underground. Yeah, I remember in there. Hey, I, dog, I remember like, that's, you know, that's like the only, cause you know, I don't do clubs. That's like one of the only clubs. And they used to be on that wall, mm-hmm. upside down. All of them, dog, it was like all the girls. Cause they mom was dropping them all. It was like a teen spot. Yeah. No, these yep. mamas dropping them off. They was all along the walls, popping. You in the middle. I got my hand out, touching the wall. This one pointing out. Yeah. You know, I was young and buku testosterone. And any little thing I thought I would see, I was like, oh, I see a shot right there. I'm <laughs> hey, I was taking them shots home that night, boy. <laughs> yeah, man. I remember the underground. Yeah. Because Q93, that was the battle. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you give me that record. Don't give it to WRD for you. Give it to me. <laughs> right. Give it to me first. I'm telling um uh, the Q wind up playing it first. And then I mean, WRD some kind of way guy. I remember mean, I had that WRD stick my mom. My mom was hot. I put that on my bumper hard car. <laughs> remember that? Yeah, a, white, a red, a white and black sticker. Like a red, white, and black sticker. Now I put that on my mom was hot. Get that shit off my car, boy. Cause you know you ride around and see the bumper sticker. You get something. Yeah. <laughs> my mom was hot. Get that off my fucking Lincoln, boy. <laughs> yeah. Dog. That don't bring back memories, man. That shit was crazy though at the radio, yeah. man. Mm. Well, man, so what, what's next for the help, man? 
the song's out, it's bubbling, it's hot, it's hot like fish grease, man. I'm, I'm ready to do these damn shows, man, and get yeah. this shit live. Oh, man, that's what I want to do. They doing them challenges. I'm, I'm going to do a show and have the biggest challenge with the crowd out there, you know what I'm saying? There's, yeah. there's a lot of shows I need to do. Mm-hmm. You got to get in Baton Rouge. Oh, yeah, I got one, uh, I got one that's sad at the, uh, at the hole. Yeah. Sad night. I about to say, I know Baton Rouge is going to show you because, you know, when you make, when you make sure, sure they have nothing but security and they checking because Baton Rouge love playing with them. They're going to they gonna have the gats out there in the air. <laughs> I know them out there. They're going to have the gats in the air. You make sure security pat them down, get the little wine. Man, yeah, they're going to have it. I might, you might need TSA security <laughs> to get them through them doors. Them little, uh, man, she. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what they're all ready to do, bro. Get out there and bring that, get the guy live to him. Mm-hmm. It's about that time. I mean, it's a lot of them still don't know who probably made it. They 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 on social media, but it's a lot still don't know yet. Right. And they about to know. They about to find out. That's what's up. Shit, I had motherfuckers trying to claim my damn song. No, no. I ain't talking about Sean Subs. I mean, motherfuckers thought I was dead or in jail or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna look. I ain't gonna lie to like. Since you don't really hear and we ain't really got like no hub where we can see like who's alive and who's not, like a lot of us still be like, up, I don't even want to say it, man. But you know, it's kind of like it just, like we don't know, you know what I'm saying? But let me say this. Now, y'all know the past years, couple of years, but y'all hear about the throwback concerts, huh? Mm-hmm. I let these cats know I'm out here, I'm working yet. But a lot of these shows, they don't call Mr. Get the Gat. And I ain't I saying bet they'll call you I now. ain't saying they calling me and get a price and I'm hitting them with a I know when I know yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm not I know to consider myself if it wasn't burning how it's burning right now, you know what I'm saying? But right. I had my had my people, some fans and people who know me call me and be like, Why you ain't, you know, thinking I didn't just shut the game now, but I never shut the game now. They just don't holler at me. I mean, I'm ready to rock that motherfucker anytime they call. Right. So they know not. I'm yeah. back. I'm out here. Boot up, bitch. <laughs> Straight up, baby. Let Elk is the man run with the get the gap. Oh, My other shit, that underground hits, mm-hmm. that um, what I just dropped, that um, OG shit. Mm-hmm. That's my lady shit. OG shit. <coughs> that's that's five footer. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what I go by on doing that shit there. <coughs> so right now we got let out. Now we got let out. Yeah, yeah, we got let out right here, right now. Uh-huh. With this get the gap. But when I'm running that other shit, my G shit, that's five footer with them bangers. I will be on my uptown shit then. That's what's up. Yeah. I think a chop is about five foot tall, huh? I can see the I can see the correlation. Get the gap and chop. It's all the same, man. Oh, I see where you're going now. <laughs> Nah, man, but I appreciate you taking the time out, man, to come sit there, you know, and run it with us, man. You know, it, it, you know, like I said, this, this is, this is what we do, man. And, you know, we, we kind of want to give all our OG their flowers. You know what I'm saying? I Why appreciate here, y'all hollering at me, man. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty. Listen, man, this, I'm just glad we was able to sit down and talk to you. It's an honor, like, cause Mac and I, we like hip hop nerd. This is especially our culture and like he said, we try to give this out to the um the younger rappers coming up. My thing, like Mac and I always say, you can they could tell you what year every pair of Jordans came out. But you can't tell us the history from your hometown, like these people you need to know that paved the way for you guys. So, you know, I'm just glad you could um you could be here and honor, you know, it's an honor for you to, us to have you here. All the time, baby. You know? Up, it's man. the takeover. Yo, yeah, you heard it. Man, before we go, um, can you let everybody know where they could eat, eat, get in touch with Lil Elk, get the music from you and your social media, whatever, you know? Let them know where they can find you. Find you. Yeah. I mean, they can find me. They know Instagram, Lil Elk Official. Lil Elk Official. You can get me on Instagram. My Facebook right now is still going under my, my um, government name. <laughs> Elton Newman, but um, <laughs> I let me let out official. My music is back up online. I took all the illegal shit down. It's back up on Apple, Spotify, and Amazon and thing. And um, my YouTube channel is up. You can hit me up. 
Lit L with official. But um Break a book yet, man. I'm book back, book. baby. You can highlight me, check out that Instagram page. That booking number is right on there. I don't know it by heart, but right. um Booking in the info. Yeah, like, yeah, all that is at the top of the Instagram page at Lil Elder Fisher. And if you got your gun permits, he could get the gaff for you too. I'm <laughs> telling y'all, he could get them. <laughs> they don't call him get the gaff for nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. It's the takeover, Lil Elder. We out.